gave you guys kind of like a haul like two vlogs ago three vlogs ago but i didn't give you guys like exactly what i get so i figured i would show you i don't know why i keep doing a grocery haul in almost every single vlog but i think it's because i really want to show you guys what i get because i find stuff like this so interesting obviously avocados because i am obsessed with making avocado toast every single morning and then lemons because you know you can put them on avocado i mean this is just like basic stuff if you guys watch my vlogs you'll know that i just cook vegetables literally that's all i cook ever because of my diabetes and one of my favorites is the zucchini squash the broccoli and cauliflower duet i actually was in such a rush that i didn't realize i got the duet i usually just do the normal broccoli because it's just easier to throw in a pan sometimes i'll do like the full thing and chop it and do it myself but when i'm lazy i like to have something like this on hand some peppers just to throw in i don't know if i want to do tuna salads or again just any type of stir fry this is actually like really popular i'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere when it comes to my diabetes I always try to make my own pizza so normally I don't really go out and get pizza because that's just annoying insulin like if I'm gonna go out I'm gonna make more healthier options the one that I do is just this plain pizza dough they do have like the green one I forgot what I think it's like basil or something like that personally I really like this I usually just do like one little slice and then I'll have like my veggies and all of that on the side because again less insulin but James really loves when I make this this I promise is just like the best combination and I always like to put like a little bit of these mushrooms on it and just that alone is so good if you could put some like vegan cheese on it or normal cheese just whatever and I did try the other combination that they have but it's just not the same like the original one is so much better I got an eggplant because I really just love throwing this again in everything and I also really love to make a curry with it same thing like with the broccoli I just really don't want to cut up any mushrooms so when I'm lazy I like to go for these I just will literally eat this in probably less than two days I love putting mushrooms in everything something that I showed in my last Trader Joe's is this rice cauliflower again if you are getting like Thai food or something like that especially with the pandemic I feel like it's more easier because typically you know you'll get it to go or something I like to come home and actually mix it with this rice cauliflower instead of the rice you know that the Thai place gives you and that way I don't have to use as much insulin and personally I prefer it more like I don't feel as like gross and groggy when I eat it with this versus if I do it with rice and then the broccoli slaw if you guys watch any of my vlogs you'll know I love doing it with like that fake garlic aioli it's so good gotta have tomatoes because of course throwing them in the salad baby carrots just the best snack ever when it comes to hummus and things like that I mean I feel like that's so cliche but it really is good especially if you find a really bomb hummus to go with it of course my Ezekiel bread I talk about this so much this is pretty much the only bread that I have found works really well with my sugars so it has 15 carbs three grams of fiber and there are other breads that do have that like scale of it I'm pretty sure um, the Dave's bread is really similar when you have the thin slices but for me what I've noticed is it just does not respond well like I always end up having to use actually more insulin and it's the same like amount of um, what's it called like nutrition facts almost plus literally on it it does have a glycemic index for you so I feel like that's really helpful as well so I just I don't know I love this bread it is my staple I always have again two slices in the morning with avocado I don't think it's like been right into my brain that that is breakfast spinach you always just need it i love cooking it eating it raw whatever herb salad mix again nothing too crazy really good with like a tuna salad or just cook salmon and have that over it and then a crunch thing that i actually had in my last trader joe's haul i am obsessed with it it is literally my favorite i love cooking with it or putting it in burritos just because it does have that crunch effect got some onions that is pretty much it for more of like the fresher produce I typically only shop around the outside but when it comes to grocery stores but when it's Trader Joe's I always have to go on the inner just because they just have so many good things this meatless breakfast patties I don't think these are as good as the Morningstar ones I feel like the Morningstar breakfast patties taste way better but these are okay the smart tenders plant-based chicken another really easy snack if I'm like starving and can't wait is the hickory smoked plant 
plant based deli slices obviously this has a lot of sodium so I don't know a lot of people are like weird about having too much sodium so you don't want to like overdo it but again it's a nice snack it's really good with my diabetes some crushed garlic of course because it's the best I love throwing that with all my veggies these cheddar style slices you know you could do a whole little situation if I'm again really lazy kind of have this as a mix as a little snack I also got kale again because I love having different greens all around when I walked in there it was like fall smacked me in the face and I just I could not help myself I got this pumpkin pie spice situation going on it has cinnamon ginger lemon peel nutmeg cloves and cardamom I never know how to say it but again I could put this in my coffee in the morning maybe over um, my oatmeal the pumpkin butter something that I started doing actually is the vegan Trader Joe's cream cheese I talked about it before but I don't think it's like as flavorful it's kind of very bland but I like to put them on those little rice cakes that you guys would have seen um, in one of my vlogs I talked about them they are really clean you know it's not like the standard rice cakes but they're very thin so I like to put the cream cheese on it and then put like a little bit of jelly to just add some taste so this pumpkin butter I feel like would go really good with the combination of that cream cheese some organic pumpkin I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this but I just want to cook something this harvest blend and it has a cute little fox on it and then this pumpkin spice I have no idea how to say this but it was just really cute and I am a big tea drinker I just drink tea like six times a day so you know I, something to get me in the little fall mood this vanilla pumpkin candle when I still lived with Hannah she would always get these Trader Joe's candles and it would always be in the kitchen so when I got this oh my gosh it just smells so good I'm just gonna copy here and put this in the kitchen and it'll be like I'm living with her again because they would always burn the Trader Joe's candles right in the center of like the kitchen I also got this pumpkin body butter I lotion like a psychopath at least like three times a day so I'm really excited for this some more of this water I love this because it just has minerals that your body does not have I forgot but I also got two cucumbers a little bit of these tomatoes with some lemon you know salt pepper even if you want to do a little bit of soy sauce it's like the easiest little snack this cinnamon whisk and I also got a big cinnamon broom because again fall times I'm pretty sure this was like three dollars I could be wrong but like at Safeway or something these are about nine dollars so I just had to like this literally smells up the whole house you could even put this in your car it has a little like loopy thing and yeah that's it I know I just showed you guys my lunch, but it is now dinner. I've literally just been editing, but I wanted to show you guys this. So I made a little Mediterranean salad. I didn't have any feta cheese, which is really sad. And then I made some cauliflower rice. I actually did a different recipe this time. I tried to do a more, again, Mediterranean style, so it kind of complements this. I just found it on Pinterest and changed some things up. I just tried some of the rice, rice, cauliflower rice. And honestly, guys, it's pretty good so like the base of it was just lemon and avocado oil but obviously you can use olive oil i think i just accidentally used um avocado and then just some sauteed mushrooms i put red pepper flakes i put way too many because it's really freaking hot but it's still good and then i used a lot of the garlic cubes i think i used three garlic cubes some italian seasoning i did a lot of garlic salt i've never really successfully made a really good um base one like this that's not in a lot of um creamy sauces but yeah it's pretty good so you guys should try it because i'm obsessed with it and i'm probably gonna be doing it like this a lot more than when i do it with the red sauce it is now saturday and we are gonna go yard sailing i wanted to show you guys my outfit so i'm gonna let's kind of move do a 360 so you guys can actually see i'm just wearing my sketchers that are thrifted this skirt i honestly have no idea it was sent to me a couple years ago so i'm not sure but i am obsessed with it but then we have my harley long sleeve that i did thrift a while back and then 
and one of my favorite bags ever that of course was also thrifted i'm just obsessed and then i'm wearing my little sunglasses that i also thrifted and that's pretty much it my face is literally so puffy right now i have no idea what's going on but yeah i'm excited what do you think you're doing she's just in the drawer Anyways, this is one of the things that I actually thrifted, and it has a marble top right there. So I got two matching sets. It's like four days later, maybe even five days, and the first yard sale that we actually ended up going to, we got a lot of stuff, so we ended up going back, and I actually exchanged numbers with the lady, so that's how we were able to like kind of talk. So I kind of wanted to wait until we got everything. So that's pretty much why it's taking me so long, and I also didn't film like any of the yards sales because again when we went to the first one and then after that it was just like really hectic i have to redo a lot of things now because the bedroom i mean let me just show you so i'm not just like sitting down here and being weird but as you can see i want to show you guys our bedroom right now you may have seen this in um, I don't know a couple of vlogs, but this uh, Bed's not made because I just don't care But here we have you know like the nightstands ignore my dirty laundry But as you can see this nightstand that I have right here And then I always end up putting like all my diabetic stuff down there right by my bedside So this is kind of my bedside and as you can see it's not a lot of room and then that green Matches the green on this photo right here, but then this obviously is really different, but but I did tie like the Norman Rockwell because it has that same kind of green and then of course if you guys saw I used to have this big green plant and I ended up killing it <laughs> so that's pretty much um, the corner you know I've had this same bed since I was in high school and I brought this over James did have like I think a king size bed not a king size maybe a queen and I just thought the bed was really really ugly and didn't match with anything so we ended up downsizing and then we have my big uh, vanity type thing situation not vanity but dresser drawer that kind of matches with that right there and then also if you guys see me in my beauty room I also have the same thing so it's just a lot of mix match and eventually I do want to do this whole thing I'll put up inspiration on this wall just because this bedroom is kind of small you know it doesn't have that master bedroom feel and while we were at that yard sale she actually just ended up giving us this plant right here she was just giving everything pretty much away because she wanted to get rid of it because they were moving to Texas and I just thought this is perfect I'm not really a big fan of this but probably this is actually gonna replace this situation going on right here I hear a cat meowing why do I hear a cat meowing and no cat but when we go down to the hallway again excuse everything it's a mess because we thrifted a lot so these are the headboards that we got so as you can see like oh I am obsessed with this i've been trying to find one that looks like this and every time i've seen them at the thrift store or yard sales they just weren't right and then i also found this cute little hollywood icons book at actually another yard sale and i think it's just perfect i slowed down on getting coffee table books but this one i just could not resist like it was so freaking cool and then this mini electric fireplace also so dainty and cute have no idea where we're gonna put it but maybe if I rearrange my room the right way we'll do it like that but yeah first things on the list we are gonna see how the nightstands look what is this it's a zucchini are you kidding me and sunflowers that we're gonna cook that's sunflowers yeah okay excuse the dirty <laughs> kitchen I need to do dishes as you guys know I don't have a dishwasher that looks terrifying Eat one that actually it's just looks unsalted bro i already ate a handful that looks kind of gross no you break it apart i mean it was pretty and yellow i mean obviously we're gonna make this but are you joking me with this it's the i'm in the middle one. of just cooking some lunch this is the smaller one that's been growing for two years this has been going growing <laughs> for two years mm -hmm. no it hasn't mm -hmm. Two years. My uncle never touched his, his garden. He has kale over there and shit. Like, if you want kale. He's lying. Swear to God. He's lying. Why would I be lying about this? <laughs> Look how big it is. You can't lie. It's been Wait, growing put it up two, to your face. It's been growing for two fucking years. The bigger one, he said he wants to grow, though, forever. Stop.
don't mind the fact that the mattress is literally on the ground but i actually really like the look of like the rustic i mean i do have to sand this and make it you know kind of like polish it and clean it but i love the look of this i like the contrast it doesn't look as feminine as it did before i know it's kind of hard to say because obviously the sheets are pink but we're gonna get a new mattress and i think i might want to do gold sheets i don't know if i'm gonna do cream because the comforter is white a little overview i am just obsessed with all of these vibes, I am just trying to figure out exactly how I can make it just a little bit more masculine. I think I already said that, you know, and not have it be so girly, even though it is pretty girly already. But I think just by changing out the dressers and not having it white and, you know, taking out the pink sheets, it's going to look more, you know, like it's a bedroom and kind of like James and I both sleep here. I'm just excited to have matching nightstands. I know that sounds dumb, but like I said, I didn't have a drawer on my side and now I do. I can put my journal in here and all the, like the little night creams that I use. And of course I'll style all of this up, but yeah, that is pretty much it. You know, I don't really think there is anything else. Of course, you guys will see more updates on how everything is going to look in future vlogs. But I just was really excited and I wanted to show you guys the process. So, you know, next time that you saw my room, it wouldn't look half undone because right now it just looks literally crazy i mean what is this i need to get a new laundry bag that is so ugly obviously we have to get the doggy a new blanket because i feel like this color just doesn't really match with anything and yeah that is pretty much it i'm not trying to slow down you know i've always been wanting to change started a new vlog and I realized that I didn't show you guys the end result of how I did everything with the mirror so if you see me wearing the same thing we're just gonna pretend like it's a different day but it is not finished yet but this is kind of the result okay it looks really bad on camera like it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing but obviously I'm gonna put um, a bunch of pictures up there I'm not really sure yet and then I ended up keeping the coat rack right there and this is kind of how the mirror is with the whole end result I definitely um, wish I would have gotten a different type of gold because this is a little bit more pale but it's fine um i originally wanted to actually put this right there but then the two golds really clashed so i had to break it up and i put these shoes on the bottom all my black booties i put them there just because i had to break up the carpet because it was really sinking in with everything if that makes sense because this is not hardwood so it was like light 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 and it just looked awkward so i feel like the black really broke it up again this looks awkward but as you guys can see it is also my semi dressing room so this kind of fits it's kind of like an overall closet of course with my coats but then I really love this section so I have all my jewelry here um, I definitely still need to organize it I just kind of tossed it all on here we are trying to propagate this right here I don't even know if I said it the right way or whatever but we were at a yard sale and this lady gave it to me and she was like try so I'm just doing that I honestly just put that there because I wanted something there and then down here it's a little bit dark I don't know if you can see that but I just put another little cherub and my two kind of like semi clutches and then obviously that's not going to be there but that is pretty much how it looks like so far again doesn't look the cutest because this wall is so blank compared to like the rest 
you know, it's like very royal-esque kind of Parisian, but then when you turn here, it's kind of like literally what is going on. It would be really cool if I had that um, situation going on that I showed you guys in the beginning. So I don't know, we might do that. But I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna end the vlog here because again, like I said, I already started a brand new one. And I, this vlog in particular has just literally been all over the place like i it's been like three days and then i won't vlog and then i'll vlog in like four days so i don't even know what to call this because it's definitely not a week in my life because it's already like a brand new weekend so yeah i'm gonna stop blabbering and i will see you guys in my next video bye